Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is my channel, Kristen Alyssa. So this is just one part of a six video series on how to study for each section of the DAT. So if you have not seen the others, I recommend that after you watch this one about quantitative reasoning, go and check out the others. And if I haven't posted the others yet, make sure you subscribe so you're notified exactly when I post all the new videos and so you'll be up to date and ready to study for the DAT and fully equipped and fully knowledgeable of all the resources that are available to you. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. For quantitative reasoning, there are a lot of study tools that you can use um, and of course there's always more than what I tell you about, but I'm just telling you what I've used and what's worked for me or what I've heard works. Um, so for quantitative reasoning, the cheapest option I know is Chad's videos. Chad's videos, like I've, like I've said before, they are um, like instructional videos. It's like literally a man named Chad <laughs> teaching you, like as if you were in a classroom, like teaching you everything you need to know about every subject there is to know about math for the exam that is. So if you learn that way, that's great. It's about $50 a month, so it's kind of cool that you can decide how long you want to keep it for. Say you only need it for a month, you only pay $50. If you need it for three months, you know, you pay $150. In addition to that, there is the Math Destroyer, which is a little bit more expensive. It is $99.95, so it's $100 <laughs> for a book. Just like the DT Destroyer, it's made by the same company. It's a book, but it's only math, solely, solely math. Um, and the 2020 version also contains the quantitative comparison questions that are new to the DAT. When I took the DAT, the quantitative comparison thing, it was it was just becoming a thing, and so we weren't tested on it, thank God. Um, but I understand, like, it's not a normal way of, like, thinking. I mean, we had to do some practice questions with it. It was on my DAT, but it didn't count against us if we missed it. Um, like, it's it's not like an intuitive way of thinking, so it would be really great if you get some extra practice on that. And the, as usual, the DAT destroyer or the destroyer materials, they are typically a little bit more difficult than what you'll see on the actual DAT, so it will definitely over-prepare you. Um, I didn't use the math destroyer, but I have friends who did, and they loved it. They felt like it really prepared them for the math section, especially because that was one of their more weaker subjects. And of course, there's always the DAT Destroyer, which is $150. The only thing with the DAT Destroyer and quantitative reasoning is that there's only like 40 to 50 quantitative re reasoning questions. So there's not a lot. And I guess that's why they made the Math Destroyer. But um, if you don't want to pay, if, if, if all you want the DAT Destroyer for is the quantitative reasoning, I would say don't get it because it's such a small section. Um, but, of course, I highly recommend the DAT Destroyer for all the other subjects that it offers. Um, math is just one of the shortcomings of that one book in particular. And then finally, again, as I always say, is DAT Bootcamp. So DAT, boot, DAT Bootcamp costs about $497, and I'm telling you, it is worth every penny like, if I had to choose one study material, it would be that. Yes, DAT Destroyer took my, my scores to the next level, but just for like that foundational, like if you're just trying to, you know, if you feel pretty confident in most sections and you just want some practice, DAT is just, bootcamp is the way to go. DAT Bootcamp is really like a one-stop shop for all of your DAT needs. It's, I think, it the most valuable tool that I used. 10 out of 10. Recommend. <laughs> I've said that before, but 10 out of 10 for real. So, with how I study for the quantitative reasoning portion of the DAT, I more so f focused in on my weak subjects. So, my weak subjects are probability and like those interest calculation questions. For some reason, I could just never get it all the way. And so, I knew that going into it, and so I immediately went to Chad's videos and just watched videos on those subjects in particular. And then I do some DAT Destroyer questions. Again, there's not a lot, so I would you know, usually skip over to DAT Bootcamp and then review the questions I miss and then review those topics. So it's basically the same thing I've been doing with like biology and the others is that I 
do a practice test, not because I feel like I can make 100 on it, but because I want to figure out where my weak points are. And so after I take that practice test, figure out what questions I miss, review those, and then relearn everything. And, you know, just review the um, chat videos and other YouTube resources. So it's crucial to keep track of your weaknesses and you know nobody likes to talk about their weaknesses because they're weaknesses and they make us look weak but recording your weaknesses is really really important and in studying for any exam because you want to know where you should improve so you can you know, perform your best on the exam not just perform your best in the subjects you already know but wholeheartedly just improve overall Again, my major, major, major key with studying, and I'm going to say this in every video, is do not neglect any subject. So whether that's within quantitative reasoning or as the DT as a whole, like say, oh yeah, I got PAT, I don't need to study that. No, yes you do, sir. Yes you do. And I'll tell you why. I have friends who thought that way, and whenever it came time to take the exam, guess what section they ended up doing terrible on and all the other sections they did great but that one section that they're like oh i got it no you don't never be comfortable never settle and say oh yeah, yeah i understand it i got it pretend like you don't have any of it okay don't get cocky and that way you know they're not gonna catch you slipping it's gonna be great <laughs> so that is it for quantitative reasoning i hope you guys got something from this video don't forget to subscribe and so you can know when all my other videos are being posted. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.